Alright everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a repair on the dreaded Zeppelin. Let's get into it. Okay, so the dreaded Zeppelin. It's a really cool piece, came out in about 2010, I believe. Uh, maybe we'll do a review on it at some point. Uh, but today we're gonna be doing a repair. In full transparency, I ran this for the first time uh, this October for about a month straight, every night for about, I don't know, maybe three, four hours. And I finally had an issue with it here a couple days prior to Halloween. Um, it doesn't surprise me because this Pacific piece has a really weird awkward weight load to it so as it's going around in circles that little blimp thing it really kind of puts some strain on it I mean it's it's I'm sure it's built to last and you know the Lamax is the best they can and but the fact is it's mechanical and like everything else eventually something will happen it really comes down to you know luck and wear and tear and you know how much you're using it and it, it, you know there's a bunch of factors at play uh, but in this case it did break about after a month so I try to be as transparent about that as possible. I, it's been sitting in my storage for probably two, three years. I just haven't had a chance to use it yet. Um, but this year we did. It's really, really neat. And like I said, maybe we'll do a review at some point. But clearly, as you can see here, there is a broken belt. Um, this, again, doesn't surprise me. Coming from that whole awkward weight load thing, yeah, it, it's, it, it could happen. You know, it's not unreasonable. If you do have one of these pieces, the symptom to look for obviously is that it's not spinning. Um, if you know one day you're looking at your village and the blimp's no longer going around, but you hear something going on in there, like a motor spinning, something like that, it's usually a sign that something has gone wrong with the belt. As you can see, I've already taken mine apart here. I've took off the black mat from the bottom using a hair dryer. Um, you know, same thing with the hot glue, pulled the base apart. You know, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. We've done similar things in other videos. So if you're curious about that, check those out. But in the meantime, let's replace the belt. So here is my boxes of belts. As you can see, I have a bunch of different sizes on hand. Uh, a lot of people ask, you know, where do you get the belts from, the gears, etc. Um, I buy mix packs from places like eBay, Amazon, things like that. Uh, majority of the time, you're going to want fine belts. Um, that tends to be what Lamax uses um, from my experience so far. I'm sure there's other houses that need different ones, but majority of the time when something comes on the bench, um, it's a fine belt that I need. Bigger, smaller, it doesn't really matter, but fine tends to be the majority. So if you're gonna pick up a pack, make sure it's a mixed pack, cause that'll give you plenty of variety to get started. The amount of belts you're seeing here is two different mixed packs that I purchased. Uh, the color doesn't really matter, it's just about the belt itself. So I've gone ahead already and picked out two that I think are close. So I'm gonna find out which one is exactly the right one and I'll get that put on and then I'll be back with you. So as you can see, I've already put on the belt. It's very simple, it took less than a second. You're just going to hook one end of the belt onto the small wheel first, and then pull it evenly over the bigger spinny wheel there. Uh, very simple to do, very self-explanatory. The other one just obviously was broken already, um, but it, sometimes they're not always broken. Sometimes they kind of start to shred or they're getting loose or too stretched out or whatever. In that case, you just pull it off the same way you put it on. Uh, very self-explanatory, uh, but as you can see, it's working great. I'm testing it right now. It's spinning as it should. So let me go ahead and put this back together and then we'll see what we got. Okay, so here it is, the dead Zeppelin, working as it should in all its glory. Um, it's not skipping or stuttering or anything like that. If that's happening for you after your belt replacement, try a different belt. Uh, that usually means there's probably not enough tension there. Uh, there has to be a certain amount to, you know, to be able to drive it right and to get a nice smooth rotation, which is what we have here. So let me go ahead and hit the lights. We'll take a quick look at it, and I think that'll about wrap it up. So as you can see, it's continuing to work just as it should. It's been running now for a little while. I'm confident in the repair. I will have it put right back in the display uh, so we can enjoy it for the remainder of the season. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this repair or anything else in the spooky town world, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Uh, this is definitely repair you can do yourself. Don't be afraid to dive in and try it. Um, but for any reason, if you feel that you do not wish to or you're uncomfortable for any reason, you you can always reach out. I do fix these houses for folks, so feel free to reach out in regards to that. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate all the love and support. Continue to hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends. Thank you for everything, and I will see you on the next one.